A dangerous situation at a Long Island Railroad station this afternoon. Police discovered a man with a gun in the middle of the tracks. This as Long Island communities deal with deadly gang violence. CBS 2's Dave Carlin has exclusive video from Central Islip. The Central Islip train station was shut down and miles of roadway around it blocked off after police were called for an armed man on the tracks. Our camera was behind yellow caution tape, zoomed in to capture a suspect who appeared distraught, often yelling into a phone with a red case that he had in his left hand. In his right was what looked like a gun, and for most of the time he held it to his temple. The neighbors nearest to this were told not to travel, shelter in place, but some came outside of their homes to look. Surprise, real surprise. Around here, it's quiet. And they said the man was on the tracks with a gun or something, and SWAT was on the steps. So then we were waiting to see, you know, what was going on. It started around 12:30. For two hours, the man was surrounded by SWAT and other officers who kept their distance, waiting him out until this breakthrough. You see the man on the tracks take the gun away from his head, put it on the ground between his legs. Then he picks up the gun, waves it, then immediately puts it down again, apparently to prove to officers it's out of his hand. Then he kicks the gun far enough away for officers to move in, and they do. Now in handcuffs, the man is put over the shoulder of a SWAT officer to get him off the tracks and up onto the platform. Sitting on a stretcher, he is placed flat on his back, strapped in, wheeled to an ambulance, and taken to a hospital for mental evaluation and preparation for criminal charges. Some central Islip residents say they're grateful to police for this takedown and glad no one was injured. Nobody hurt. Thank God it turned out good. The crime rate needs to go down, that's all. Suffolk police did not identify the man and would not say if this incident was in any way connected to other crimes around here. In central Islip, Suffolk County, Dave Carlin, CBS 2 News. According to the MTA, there is regularly scheduled maintenance on that portion of the track this weekend, so the incident fortunately didn't have a big impact on LIRR service.